What is being described as a landmark lawsuit and the amount of $550 million has been filed by the mother of Tyree Nichols. But the suit names the city of Memphis, Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis, five former police officers charged with murder, three former fire department employees and two former officers. WREG's Mike Suriani reports Tyree Nichols' mother wants the lawsuit to send a message. No parent should be going through what I'm going through right now. I don't wish on my worst enemy, but things need to change. Rovon Wells is surrounded by supporters downtown Wednesday as details of a $550 million lawsuit in the death of her son Tyree Nichols are made public. The suit names the city of Memphis, MPD Chief C.J. Davis, five former officers charged with Nichols' beating death, two former officers, and three former Memphis Fire Department employees. No more Tyree Nichols. No more Tyree Nichols. No more Tyree Nichols. No more Tyree Nichols. No Nichols. Attorney Ben Crump, representing the Nichols family, says the focus of the lawsuit is ultimately to rid communities of so-called oppression units, like the now disbanded Scorpion Unit. The five officers charged in Nichols' death were members of the Scorpion Unit. It is our mission to make it financially unsustainable for these police oppression units to unjustly kill black people in the future. The 140-page lawsuit outlines what Crump calls the torture, savage, brutal, dehumanizing killing of Tyree Nichols and calls out policies and procedures under MPD Chief C.J. Davis, a pattern of indifference that left a mother and father devastated. Every paragraph in this lawsuit speaks to the brutality of this lynch mob that were cloaked with a gun and a badge assigned by the Memphis Police Department. Mike Soriani, WREG News Channel 3. So what's the other side of the story? Well, we reached out to MPD and we're told as standard practice, they do not comment on pending litigation.